Hello there, this is Caesar on Toast, and you are watching my Getting Started with Immersive Engineering tutorial. Uh, immersive Engineering is a mod that is currently out for Minecraft 1.12. You'll find it in many of the popular mod packs. Uh, it's a tech mod, and it focuses on automating with some multi-block structures. We've got a villager house here, and the art style, I think, is one of the highlights for this mod for me, um, especially this treated wood, and we're going to get on to how to craft this in this episode. Uh, the main tool that you'll need in it is Engineer's Hammer. I'm also going to talk about how to craft that. And uh, one thing you'll also find is that there will be villagers appearing in villages in the world, and you'll be able to get items and sell items from the mod in those houses. So without any further ado, I'm going to get into a tutorial of how to make some of these things that you can see. So maybe you find one of these in your villager house, but just in case you need to craft it, um, to make the engineer's hammer you need two sticks, two iron and a piece of string. Uh, you can see all these recipes in the uh, just enough items interface here. Uh, if you type in at immersive engineering or I guess just immersive, uh, you'll see all the items and then if you click on them you'll be able to see the recipes for those. Um, so that's just a general tip. Um, next up is right when you get started with this mod you want to start growing industrial hemp, either do it the vanilla farm way, uh, automate it using some other mod or industrial engineering, but you will need some other items in this mod before you can do crops with that, but we'll get onto that in a later episode. And so I'm just going to bone meal these to show you that it's a too high plant. And then when you break it, you get these industrial hemp fibers. Uh, if you hit R on these, or I guess U, I think it is, um, you can see that you can make various things with these. But the most important for us is going to be this tough fabric. It has uh, many different uses, but when we come on to another episode on energy generation or electricity generation, you're going to want these windmill sails, and they will take a lot of this industrial hemp fiber. Um, jump cushions, that's interesting. I haven't seen that before. Might have to look at these for a future episode. Um, next up is you are going to want to make lots of treated wood. Um, so for that, the most crucial thing is to have a coke oven so you can get creosote oil. And there's another byproduct of this, which is, or I guess creosote oil is a byproduct. The actual thing you want to make is the coke. Um, so to make coke, you need coal or coal blocks are more efficient, just like in a regular furnace. And that will create you coal coke and creosote oil. You are able to remove the creosote oil by hand using a bucket. And so just it goes into this blue slot and comes like this orange slot. And then you have creosote oil. Um, one way I just mocked up earlier using blocks from immersive engineering and vanilla to automate the coke oven is to have a hopper going into the side or the top with the, the blocks or the coal that you want to turn into coke and then you want a pump on the side uh, which is something from immersive engineering itself so we can just search up pump. I think this requires some extra blocks which we'll get into how to make these in a future episode and then also a fluid outlet, and this requires a redstone signal to output. And then we're just pulling the completed coke blocks out of the bottom with a hopper. And finally, once you've done all this and you've got some creosote oil, you're gonna to want to make your treated wood planks, and that is using eight of any kind of wood plank and a creosote oil bucket, and that will get you eight treated wood planks that you can use to craft things in the rest of the mod. So that was a brief flyby getting started with immersive engineering video. I'm going to make a few of these to describe different aspects of the mod and hopefully if you want to see those you'll subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.